through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Right here in Isaiah. So now we read it in the New Testament. Look at Esau, a true Idumean. You got, he read that in the New Testament. Boom, back to two. Hermano, puedo hablar con ustedes dos minutos. Dos minutos. Let me talk to y'all. Pero ven para acá y habla conmigo entonces. Dos minutos. Hang around with that dirty ass white man too. That's what got the, the, these Latinos all bugged out. Hang around with these Idumeans. Go ahead and read that, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1. Bring it out. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, right. because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Again, it's to open the prisons of them that are bound, to proclaim liberty to the captives. What group of people are in captivity? Hey, can I ask y'all a quick question? Two minutes. See, no. Hey, can I ask you a quick question? Just one question, see? Elam, can I ask you a question? All right, well, either way. What group of people are captive? It's not the Asians. It's not the Africans. It's not Ishmael. And it's not, sure as hell, Esau. What group of people are in captive, are in captivity? What group of people to this day are still subjugated? Hermanos, puedo hablar con ustedes dos minutos. Two minutes, can I talk to y'all? Come on now. They wanna keep walking around, just living life, thinking everything's sweet, America's good for them. But yet, these people enslaved you. And yet y'all wanna still walk around with these people. That's, that's just crazy. That's Stockholm Syndrome. You get beaten to the point where now you think, this man actually loved me. And yet what he do? He comes and shows you who he really is. Sirach 12 and 10. These people are finished. You got that in Matthew? And that's why Haushai has to come. So he could do this, which is the deliverance of his people. It doesn't say, and we haven't read in all, all the precepts we don't belong out so far. Does it say for everybody? Did it say for the, wo the whole world? And we know what the world is. Psalms 90 and 2 tells you there's a difference between what? The earth and the world. So these people don't know what's going on. Read that in uh, Matthew, King. Cons, the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai, or Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. He's going to save us from our sins. And what have our sins gotten us? Destruction. Slavery. Nosotros tenemos que arrepentirnos y escuchar la palabra de Dios. Jesucristo va a regresar por los hijos de Israel. Lo que están haciendo los mandamientos de Dios. Si ustedes me pueden entender, escucha ahora que Dios y Cristo solamente son para los hijos de Israel. Eso. Y Cristo va a regresar para salvar a nosotros de nuestros enemigos. Te está diciendo la Biblia eso. Y de dónde él no va a salvar, te dice, del país del norte. No es Norte Corea ni Norte África. Eso. Go ahead and read that king in Jeremiah. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 18. In those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. And they shall come together out of the land of the north. Out of the land of where? Out of the land of the north. Now, west. Out of the land of the north. South. 
out of the land of the north east out of the land of the north the north come on now people we gotta use our common sense the north the north and this ain't the north from games of thrones either this ain't you know that north king of the north but it's the north north america now that's one precept about it now let's get this other one Grab Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 16, 15 while you can. So we're going to be saved out of this land, the land of the north. Why do we have to also be saved out of this land? Because of this. We're going to read that right after we also get this other precept. Hey, brother. I, oh, yo, that's that finished like, uh, leaving. Brother, you got two minutes, brother? Two minutes, brother. Uh, you be safe, king. Go ahead. Oh, hell. Oh, my God. That's madness. Bunch of sodomites out here. Go ahead and read that, King. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Now, the south. From the land of the north. Once again, the land of the north. Why do we have to be saved out of this land? Because of this right here. These precepts, they align. That's why you have to read precept upon precept. It's a puzzle, people. And only the children of Israel can understand that. Hermano, yo puedo hablar con ustedes dos minutos. He said, no, he's good. But don't you know that the so-called Mexican man right now is in cages? Don't y'all know that Hispanics still this day against, uh, getting beaten by the white man, but you want to keep walking down like everything good? That's the problem. Y'all some coon-ass niggas out here, man. Bunch of coons. Déjame hablar contigo dos minutos, hermano. Ven, dos minutos. Ven, dos minutos. Déjame hablar contigo. Come here, brother. We not going to hurt you, brother. We your brothers. Come here, brother. Let me ask you this. Are you with them? All right, brother. Well, I ain't trying. Yeah, would you take a fly from us then? All right, go ahead. I'm going to tell you real quick that you, are you so-called Mexican? So I say so-called because what was the name that your ancestors were saying before Mexican? Y'all were calling yourselves Azteca, right? What do you mean you don't know, brother? Come on, see, that's the shame. That's why we gotta study, brother. That's messed up right there. We'll that's teach funny. you, that's check that fly like out, King. See, that's the problem with the so-called Hispanics too. They don't wanna walk around, they walking around jacked up, feet out. Trunk, and they don't know the history. That's, that's why they like white people, yo. They don't know the history. But yeah, let's go ahead and read that in Numbers, King. Because we gotta be saved from this bloody ass land, this dirty, polluted land. And how is this land polluted and dirty? Because of this right here. Yahweh told us what makes a land dirty. This is Numbers 35, 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shared. Hey brother, you got two minutes to hear the word of God? What's your question, King? Come right here, come on, we your brothers. Okay. Yeah, we can't eat pork. They're about the all clean meats later down in New Testament. About all, yeah, act and acts. Well, let me ask you this. Right, okay, so that vision actually goes into people. And I was gonna ask you, so the all clean meats, right? And it says like the all clean creatures, right? Are humans creatures? So humans aren't creatures? Well, we are, we're creatures. So can we eat humans then? So that why would then we be still be able to eat pork or anything that God said we can't eat? See, that's the problem. Let's show you. Let's show you this. Yeah. What's your father? Hondureño. This is the book of Acts, chapter 10, and verse 11. And saw heaven open in a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth. 
wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. There came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Uh, Slaki, verse 15. And the voice spake unto him again the second time, What God hath cleansed that call not thou common. So that's what you now. But the thing is, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. See, like I said, that right there is actually talking about people, not animals. Now, if we were able to still eat unclean things, can I eat polar bear liver? No, you die. You, you would die from that. But can I though? I so I can. I can eat it. No, we can't eat it, can So, so let's just let's just set the table, right? Take you back to 15 really quick. Acts 10 15. And the voice spake unto him again the second time, What God hath cleansed that call not thou common. Verse 25. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshiped him. But Peter took him up, saying, Stand up, I myself also am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many that were come together. Here it is. Show this to your mother. He's going to, he's going to show you Peter's interpretation of his dream. Tell him the verse 2, King. It's the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 28. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is un an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. Stop right there. So the Jews, right? These guys, we got 12 tribes, right? Benjamin, Judah, and Levi. These are the Jews, right? Honduras, Zebulon, that's your tribe. You would be from this tribe. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Zebulon, right? These are your brothers, but they're the Jews. You wouldn't be a Jew. You would be an Israelite, right? From the northern kingdom. Right, you got northern kingdom, southern kingdom. So during this time, we even had Jews that were calling themselves Greeks. Right, they were calling themselves Greeks, and they were calling themselves like Samaritans. They didn't keep the customs of the Jews. Right, they were they, they weren't circumcised. They were eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. So they would read that again for them. verse 25. Uh huh. 28. 28. Oh, it's lucky. Verse 28. Uh -huh. And he said unto them. Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing. So it's, a, it's unlawful for a Jew. Come on. For a man that is a Jew uh -huh. to keep company or come unto one of another nation. You see that? So even that word nation was literally going to be the word tribe, right? Or tribe of Israel. So what 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 Peter was saying is that as a Jew, I can't eat amongst other Jews that act like Americans, right? They're not keeping the laws of Moses, right? Or, better yet, the northern tribes, like a guy from Zebulon, like you, they wouldn't eat the Jew because you 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 forsook the laws of Moses as well. Your family did. So the Jews were very isolated with only non with only believing like the Jews. You understand that? So, so finish that up for them. Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. Uh -huh. But God hath showed me. So this is the, this is the interpretation. 
interpretation of Jesus' vision. That I should not call any man common or unclean. So when God said in verse 15, right, I have already cleansed that creature, he's talking about man, right? I've called man, I've not called any man common or unclean. He's not saying we can go in court, right? Because what if I showed you a scripture when Christ comes back, the people that are eating pork will, will be destroyed. What if we showed you that? Is it a future prophecy? So, so what we're saying is that you still can't do it. You still can't do it. You agree with us. It sounds like you were the number one He agrees with us, but he had questions on the next 10. So you come to the Israelites, we can make things clear because we just want this is our job. To show our Hindorian brother, right, the, the, the actual manifesting manifestation of the scriptures that you may struggle with, right? So Isaiah 66. Verse 15. And what should I make of what? Chris. Chris, we're going to show you. Now we explain one scripture, but then we're going to show you a scripture that's going to make our point even more solid. Right. And I got a couple of questions Go for ahead. you after this, brother. That's cool with you. All right, cool. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens. Be Wait, 15, so we need the we're talking about the end time when Christ comes back. It's going to show you right here. The future promise hasn't happened yet. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. Uh -huh. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury. So, so Christ hasn't done that yet. God didn't send Christ to, to come back and redeem the Israelites with a flame of fire and a glistening sword, right? And the cherry, that hasn't happened yet, right? Okay, so it's a future prophecy, right? All right, go ahead. And his rebuke with flames of fire, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. There's gonna be a lot of judgment, a lot of dead bodies by the hands of Jesus Christ. All right, go ahead. Verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, behind one tree uh -huh. in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Chris, what is swine? It's pig. So he said, those that are found eating pork, swine's flesh, come on. And the abomination uh -huh. and the mouse shall be consumed together, so saith the, the Lord. Lord said, so the Most High God said, when Christ comes back, you're found in the court. Isaiah 66. And uh, what I want to also ask, how you doing? Isaiah 66 from 15. Right? He had, a, he had a question about Acts 10. Right? In the Bible, right? Right, right. So in the book of Acts, this question is a good question. Was Peter's vision about uh, all, the uh, all different types of food, right? And he, he, well, he didn't think so, but some people believe that Peter's vision is saying we can now eat pork. But we, but we showed him was that it wasn't about uh, pig or shrimp, it was about people. So Peter's vision was, call no man common one. It wasn't, I can now eat And then we substantiated it by showing the future prophecy, where Christ is going to come back. He can be found with a pork chop or a bacon or whatever, right? You can swat his flesh, you're going to die by the hand of Christ. That's right. And That's right. You don't know when Christ is coming back. So Christ is going to be that pork chop and that extra guy named Christ. He's going to fall sword and fall to Christ's sword. That was Isaiah 66, verse 15 to 17. That's right. And uh, let me ask y'all this real quick. So, also, when we so called blacks, Hispanics, natives, right? When we eat pork, what does that do to us? Because, like, look, for, look at other people, right? Chinese people eat a bat, live squid, but do they suffer the illnesses that we suffer? Such as like 
high cholesterol, gout, and all that, and diabetes, trichinosis worms all up in their system. No, they eat live bats and live squids. That's what they do as a group of people. When we do it, we suffer from high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high sodium, gout, diabetes, because these are things that we're not supposed to eat. So, I was gonna also say, so you're a so-called Hondurian. And I say so-called, porque tu sabes la palabra Honduras, what it means? What's a onda? No, what's a onda? It's a wave. That's a car we drive. It's not a car that you drive. It's a car we drive. So, onda, the word onda is a wave. So, you would be hondureño, so you call yourself a wave. Are you a wave, brother? No. But these are names that our slave masters have thrown on us. Usted habla español. ¿Y por qué tú estás hablando español? Es tu lenguaje, pero ¿quién te lo enseñó? ¿Y quién enseñó la madre tuya? ¿Quién lo enforzó? Yeah, but who enforced it on your grandma? You don't know the people? We can show you that. We'll show you. Now, let me ask you this is also. So when these people came over, right? The conquistadors. What's, especially like within America, within these uh, white countries, what's one of the main animals that's on their flags? Within yeah, with the conquistador, they, they had an animal, a type of bird on their flag. America has it. An eagle, right? Let's see what the scripture says about this real quick. Because your fathers didn't know about these people, and they didn't know what was going on, right? Just like how when they got up here, they saw, you know, they saw us, they were like, what's going on here? We said the same thing about them, because we didn't know what was going on with them. So let's read that. Yeah, check that out, King. So that's Isaiah 66. And 15. Con. That way you can show that you be like, yo, mami, mire. Yo hablé con los iralita y yo me dijeron esto. Tú no puedes comer puerco. You, how old is your mother, by the way? 49. You want her to keep living, right? So, in order for her to keep living, you're going to have to tell her, yo, and trust me, we do it up here with our parents, too. Yo, you can't, you can't be eating no damn pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Do you know what a crab is? It's a, it's a spider. Would you, exactly, King. Would you, you know, would you look at your floor, grab a roach and just throw it? But that's where the shrimp is. Would you eat scorpions? That's a lobster. Those animals are anthropods. Just because they're not on land doesn't mean they're still not anthropods. See no more. They're anthropods, just of the water. So these people came over here and they taught us these things to eat shrimp. That's why every time you go on commercials, they got the crab leg with the butter and the little lime on the side. They're trying to trick us to keep eating these things. Go ahead and read that, King. Right, this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So a group of people from far. From the end of the earth. So from one end of the earth is Spain and North America close. Okay. As swift as the eagle flieth. As the what? As swift as the eagle flieth. So what's on the Spaniard band flag? Uh, eagle, read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So were we exactly Spanish. So when they came over here, they beat it into us and they forced us to learn that language. So what we gotta do as a group of people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, is we gotta come back to this Bible and start learning our true culture. Because now we say, la cultura de nosotros es reggaeton, dembo, matando uno con otro, MS-13, Trinitarios. Is that really our culture? No, what were we doing before they taught us these things? We don't know. So that's why it's very important for us. Let me get that. Uh, that's why it's very important for us to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Because when you look at prophecies in this Bible, it's only talk about one group of people, which are the Israelites. There's prophecies in this book that only one group of people can say, you know what, that happened to me. Let me ask you this. What group of people on earth do we see nowadays Que dicen, yo, el pai mío, sabe lo que es pai, right? Padre, el padre mío se fue y nunca regresó. Colored people, right? Slotty. Now, do, do Chinese people go through that? Do white people go through that? Do Arabics go through that? No. But, but do Hondurians go through that? Do so-called Negroes go through that? So that's just one of them. There's many other curses and prophecies that God said to the children of Israel. 
this is gonna happen to you. This is gonna happen to you. It says also about Zebulun, the Hondurans, right? Uh, if you get that in Genesis 49, about Zebulun being by, uh, in that coast. So Zebulun, when y'all look at it, look at the map of Central and South America, y'all are under Mexico, right? So y'all have to go through Mexico to come up here, right? So when you look at it, what are y'all on? Y'all on a, like pretty much a coast. That's why in Honduras, Salvador, those places, y'all have lots of resources, abundance and resources, because you're right by what? All those waters. That's in the Bible. So we're gonna read that to you, because this is how you know that you're a child of Zebulun. Go ahead and read that, King. This is Genesis 49 and 13. Zebulun should dwell at the haven of the sea. Of the what? Of the sea. Where is Honduras by? And he shall be for an haven of ships. So when you look at the haven of ships, isn't there a Panama Canal? Read. And his border shall be unto Zidon. Unto Zidon. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta come out here to wake our people up. That's y'all right there. You a Zebulunite. You are a mighty tribe. When you look at Zebulun, y'all are a powerful tribe. The things that the Mayans did, nobody could replicate that. Nobody could go and say what y'all did. That, that, that's just, you know, whatever. No, y'all were building on top of trees, water. Y'all had like nine rivers going into the cities. Y'all also were keeping sacrifices. Y'all were also keeping laws that were in this Bible. For example, ponchos, right? Now, typically that's not known with Hondurians, more Mexicans, but look at the bottom of ponchos. They got these. Weren't the native Hondurians also had these? So where did they get that from? get that in uh, numbers. We'll show you. I'll show you real quick. Because these customs que nosotros, por muchos tiempos, estamos siguiendo, we had to have learned it from somewhere. No es que nosotros nos levantamos we just said, voy a hacer esto ahora. So you see that the natives, like we have books that talk about the natives, both in North and South America. And it talks about how you have these people uh, practicing sacrificial laws. These people are keeping, like, for example, the Mayans and Aztecs, y'all were able to tell time. Within telling time by the stars, y'all were able to do what? Know when to plant, harvest, reap, do things like that. Where do you find that again? In this book. Go ahead and read that, King. It's, about the it's the book of Numbers, chapter 15, Ooh. verse 38. Ooh. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Are we still generating? Yeah. So we have to, to this day, keep doing this. This is and how we come back to our law, statutes, and commandments. This is how we come back to know who we really are. Because once again, if I go to Honduras right now, or the people in Honduras, and you tell me bien no bien. No, we're at the bottom. Same thing with the Dominican Republic. La gente que está en la República Dominicana no están viviendo bien. The only people that live good are the ones in the government. Who runs the government? It ain't us. And if it's, if there's a one of our people, it's because he's being used by who? The Spaniards, the, you know, the British and that. So in order for us to come to wake up and to make our countries better, to make our homelands more stable, to where we could say this is a place of rest for our kids, we have to learn these laws, statutes, and commandments. We've been separated, get that, 17 and 4, because we have been discontinued from our heritage. No other groups of people have gone through that. Déjame preguntarte esto. Entonces, los chinos, right? Ellos siguen practicando los mismos costumbres. Yeah, for thousands and thousands of years. Los árabes, los africanos, los hindus. Yeah. But yet, we are the only ones who don't know our culture and heritage. Why? That's because we broke the... Do you have kids or no? You about to? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All praise. All praise. So, your kid, I, when they grow up, get a little older, you as a father and as a parent, you're going to start doing what? Putting down rules, just like how your parents did with you. When your kids break those rules, what's going to happen? Punishment. That's exactly what God did with the children of Israel. Igualito como un papá corrige a su hijo, Dios lo hizo con nosotros. Y él nos dijo, yo, tú no sigues los mandamientos, yo te voy a poner los maldiciones. So uh, let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This is one of the curses that God threw on us for breaking his commandments. 
Go ahead and read that. Huh. It says, and the this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bondmen and bondwoman, and no man shall buy you. Uh, so the Israelites, they walked out of Egypt. It said they would go back into Egypt with ships. The word Egypt, just like how we showed you, how he showed you, also on the dollar, look at the dollar bill. It has what? A pyramid. They're, they're showing you the symbolism. This is Egypt. Come on, give me a second. So we're going back to Egypt on ships. So we're going back to slavery on ships. Did that not happen to the Hondureños? Yeah. So who could this book be talking about? Zebulon and who else? And your brothers. This book is talking about all these brothers that you see right here and the two brothers behind you. And all these people that you see, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. That's who this book is about. And you know the kid don't get it.